What's up, Jimmers? All right, you guys, so today we're going to be talking about the cerebellum, okay? We are going to be working on the visual and the vestibular connection in the cerebellum. There's a part of your cerebellum that is responsible for eye, head, and neck movement, and this, uh, this drill that we're going to do called a VOR is going to really help that. Now, VOR is vestibulo-ocular reflex. Your brain has a skill that when it's looking at something and it has to turn its head, or when you have to turn your head like this, it can still look at that thing, okay? So if I'm looking at this pen, for me to be looking at the letters, so you can see the letters right there, looking at the letters on this pen, and then turn my head but keep my eyes fixed on that without it getting blurry, that's actually a neurologic skill. And when you do that and you go up and down, okay, things like that, that's a neurologic skill that triggers certain functions in your body. Today, we're going to work on a vertical VOR because we want to uh, hit up the, what's called the vermis in the cerebellum. The vermis is going to work on the midline of the brain, okay, and the midline of your body, which is going to help out with posture, going to help out with gait, going to help out with balance, all that kind of stuff. So anytime you do vertical motion with your head or with your eyes, that is going to help improve your balance, your standing strength, and the extension, meaning your ability to stand upright and BGB uh, while you're moving around doing your thing, all right? So all you need to do this drill is a very high-tech piece of equipment. It's called a pen or a pencil or a marker or a ruler. And what I want is I want you to have something on the pen, some letter that you can look at. So you're going to be focusing on that letter as you, as you move your head up and down. Okay, so I have a G on my pen. I'm going to look at G for Jimmer, all right? And what I'm going to do is I'm either going to hold it straight out, or if I have to put my elbow on something, I'm just going to hold it straight in front of me. That pen wants to be right in front of the bridge of my nose. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm then going to turn it sideways, all right? And I'm going to keep looking at that pen, and I'm going to go ahead and tip my chin up. So as you can see, as I tip my chin up and I keep focusing on that G, my eyes actually look down. Okay, so we're going to do that five times. Then we're going to go down, and as you see, as I look down, or as my chin goes down, my eyes actually are looking up. So I want you to get up into a nice BGB position. I want your guts in, so pull that belly button in towards your spine. Blades are down, push up through the top of your head. The more you push up through the top of your head and the taller your spine is, the better your vestibular function will be, all right? So we're going to go ahead and put that pen right in front of us. Make sure you can focus clearly on the letter that you're looking at, all right? So I'm going to be looking at this, and we're going to go up first. So you do not move your eyes. You're going to go up, and then you're going to come back down to center, all right? Now, as you go up, I want you to breathe out. As you come back down to center, I want you to breathe in, okay? All right. So here we go. Sit up tall, push up to the top of your head, BGB out, inhale. So keep looking at the letter on your pen. Exhale, and I want your chin to go up, but your eyes keep looking at that letter. Ready? Exhale. <sighs> Inhale, back to center. Exhale, chin up. <sighs> Inhale, back to center. Exhale, chin up. <sighs> and you want to go a little bit quicker movement as you do that. Inhale. Slow on the way back down, quicker on the way back up. So chin up quick, chin down slow. Back to center, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, and out. Inhale, back to center. And relax. So the movement doesn't have to be very big, but you want it just a little bit quicker on the way up and then slow on the way down. Quicker on the way up, slow on the way down. Now we're going to look down. So we're going to go chin down. So I'm going to still keep looking at that letter, but it's going to be quicker down, slow up. Quicker down, slow up. Cool? All right, so find your letter. Relax. <sighs> Sit up tall. Find your blades. Find your guts. Find your tall spine. Okay, so we're going to exhale and chin tucks slow. I mean, chin tucks quick. Ready? And exhale. I should be looking up. Inhale back to center. Exhale quick, inhale back up to center. Exhale down quick, inhale back to center. Exhale down quick, inhale back to center. Exhale down quick, inhale back to center. Exhale down quick, 
and then heel back to center and relax. Okay, now we're going to combine them. So I'm going to hold it like this. We're going to go up looking at the letter and then all the way down looking at the letter. All the way up, all the way down. Up and down is one rep. We're doing five times. Okay, so it, when it, whenever you go up, it's going to be quick. Down, it's quick. Up is quick. Down is quick. So there's no slow. There's no rest period in this. But don't go too crazy. If you start to feel dizzy or nauseous, slow down your speed or shorten your range of motion. Okay, all right, here we go. So we're going to start looking up. Okay, ready? Exhale and go. And one. And up. Just breathe slow and rhythmically. And two. And up. Sit tall. And three. And up. Chin down. Chin up. Three more. Chin down. Chin up. Keep looking at that letter. Chin down. Chin up. Chin down. Chin up. And chin down. And chin up. And come back to center. Good job. So you just activated the vertical part of your VOR reflex, which means we really worked on the midline stability in your body. So practice this stuff. This is good for balance, spinal work, all that kind of deal. Now, if you want more of these exercises and you're like, dude, this is cool stuff. No one's ever talked to me about this. This makes total sense. And you want more of this. We have stuff inside the MS gym. Okay. So if you want more information, go to the msgym.com, the msgym.com. Uh, you can get free exercises there. If you click on the link that says free, it'll take you to a link tree. And then that has every resource that we have for free in there. We got free education. We got free mindset training, free movement training so that you can go there and do your thing, find the right movement patterns for you and start building your brain up so it functions better. All right, you guys did awesome today. I will see you in the next session.